the podcast, Malevolent Movies. But something's off, something strange, it's not the movie that's deranged. The cast of characters has changed, or we've impaired our rotten brains. Or it's a bogus mission, and therefore you selected the Collector's Edition. Hey everybody, this is Ryan Matthew Ziegler, bringing you another episode of the Malevolent Movies Collector's Edition. Mm, this is episode 5. You know, I really, I wish this film was on Blu-ray, but I don't think it is. We're going to do, uh, 30 Nights of Paranormal Activity with the devil inside the girl with the dragon tattoo. Ryan, I heard your penis is very small. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, no, it is, it is. <laughs> no, and it he's drips got a, a lot. He's got a big penis. We've all heard about it. A big no, penis? <laughs> big no, penis. <laughs> no, no, Sometimes I send pictures of it to people on Twitter, and it's only two inches. All right. Don't hey, be slandering our boy here. Ryan, MREs are really dumb, right? Oh, yeah, no, I can't stand them anymore. <laughs> I actually mostly, I just like to eat beef jerky. That's hey, all Ryan, I eat now. Ryan, yeah. Ryan, question oh? here. Uh, yeah. WQVT News, uh, Trevor. Um, what do you think about the howling? You know, I, I don't really <laughs> care for it. I think werewolf movies are overrated to begin with, and this was really just a sloppy script. Crime against cinema, you'd say? I, Waste you know, of celluloid? I might, I might I mean, go that far. That sounds like a take from someone who doesn't know anything about like yes, classic horror yeah. or anything. Yeah. So, you know what? You I know. actually just, I just read uh, a, a Reddit thing about someone uh, uh-huh, with that yeah. opinion. Yeah, so. Ryan loves Reddit, right? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. I love Reddit. Famously. I love- yeah, famously. It, was, it was a weird Ridge Wiener was the, was the person. Uh, I don't know who that know, is. That, that seems like a really nice fella. He seems like yeah. a really oh. smart guy. Probably has like all the right takes on film. Probably. I mean, really you're probably cool. jealous of him too. I mean, from what yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm hearing. With your, no, with your so, yeah. big normal wiener, mm. you know, you probably would love something a little strange. Well, you know, I, I definitely wish it was longer. I've been trying to stretch it out. I've been pulling at it to make it longer than two inches, and I think I got it up to 2.3, so I'm very happy now. <laughs> already given up on the voice. You're barely no! even trying to do a Ryan voice, and you already gave up. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm you know, the ruse, it looks like the ruse is over now, so yes, yes. I it's am Joe, Joe Buckley. Oh, oh, shit. Joe. Uh-huh. That's Joe? Master of a thousand voices. <laughs> Master of disguise, that's him. Uh-huh. Okay, so Joe Joe is back, everybody. Uh, Collector's Edition Episode 4, Vampires Suck. Joe Solo's a movie. It was a hit. Yeah, We're doing yeah. it again, but really we're doing it because uh, uh, many of us have been very, very busy with work. We have some things in the can, but they, it, they need to gestate longer. So we need to squeak out a little nugget, and we figured, well, Joe doesn't work very hard. Let's put him to work. Yeah, but yeah. Joe, yeah. thank you very much. No, um, you're welcome. You're welcome. It's again, your, I was the only one with free time this week. Well, I mean, it's kind of true. (laughs) Yeah. Um, But I truly do. This is maybe my favorite thing we do on the show, and we've only done it once. I love just hearing you explain a movie. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. I I think this one is slightly, like, worsely filmed than Vampire Sock. I think this one's a little bit worse. So we were originally trying to squeeze in um, a regular episode of The Devil Inside. Nick selected and was very excited about. But just it, it's been a busy week, especially for me and Mr. Shaw. And I the, just the thought of having to watch something and synopsize it was too much. So I figured I need Joe to just do all the work. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. In lo- looking for that movie, um, I stumbled upon uh, the uh, what is it again, Joe? The paranormal. The, the thirty nights of paranormal activity with the devil inside the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah, and so oh like I, I think that popped up as like. It was like the second trailer, like when I Googled it, like which was really disappointing oh. for the devil inside. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I, I just figured, you know what? Fuck it. Let, we'll throw Joe to the wolves. We'll see how this goes. Um, but Joe is also buying us time because weeks ago <coughs> we recorded a very special collector's edition. Our oh, malevolent yes. madness bracket, which we've been talking up for like two months. We recorded the results of those brackets. And I'm here to announce you have one week from this moment by Monday at 6 p.m. Um, I'm sorry, Monday, June 13th, Monday, June 13th by 6 p.m. You have to email us at malev.movies at gmail.com. You are filled in brackets. Head down, probably the top comment and in the description will be a Google Drive link for three separate brackets. Now these brackets, what they are, um, our breakdowns of we funneled scores. We rated our movie. Oh, I'm Jesus. sorry. Oh my oh, lord! Someone just Joe's 
door. No, 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 it was my phone. My phone went it's off. I'm sorry. phone? Yes. My phone. My phone. <laughs> oh, my phone's done cooking. Hold on, boys. I'm sorry. My mother wanted to call me. What's your, you wait, your mom who's upstairs? Uh, sometimes she does that, yeah, but she might Call also be not. Call her back. We want oh, it on Joseph. the show. Call her back. Joseph, are you smoking marijuanas down there, Joseph? We no, smelled, uh, no. We smell the ganja, Joe. I There's did, she something did. funny down there, Joseph. I smell it. She uh, she did uh, comment that my room was, like, uh, smelly, and I realized I had just left out, like, a big, like, uh, bowl. Like, that was basically big filled in burnt. Big Yeah. I, I'm just going to go on the record and say, Joe, I hate what you've become. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> We've been saying that for years. Yeah. And look at me, but like, still, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Okay, call mama. Call no, mama. I am, I am. I am. Put it on the speakerphone. I. Yep. Yep. If there's anything inappropriate or personal, oh we'll, I'll bleep it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll just stay between the four boys here. Yeah. Hey, mom. What's up? Hi. Hey, you want to help bring in kitties? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. We're almost there. Oh okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Is she underwater? Uh, yeah. yeah, there may have been a- an issue with the Grand Ridge cell phone service, uh, but she's going to be bringing cats into the home uh, pretty soon, so I'm going to have to the run home. up, run upstairs and like grab a cat case and then run back. New cats? That's... Yeah, yeah, we're going to have seven cats in the home. What the fuck? It's, no, no, it's, just, it's, it's seven? It's, uh, it's not ours. They don't belong to us. Jess, uh, my sister, is uh, taking a vacation, so we're house-sitting the cats. Okay, okay. Yes. She so I'm, I'm gonna have to do cats. a quick pop up, like real quick, in like a minute. That's I'll have fine. to pop up and grab that's when you pop up. <clears throat> it's okay. gonna t- it's gonna take me a while to explain this malevolent madness while I remember what the yeah. fuck we did. <laughs> so okay, <clears throat> we collected scores. Uh, fans participated, so this was a little bit ago, but we collected scores on um, from the members of malevolent movies. We rated what we thought of the films themselves. The first forty films we featured on the show. Um, excluding Rectuma because it, it never existed. I don't know what I'm even saying right now. Um, yeah, what? what that? <laughs> from a score of negative 100 to 100, we rated the movies, and then we rated our thoughts or, or how we felt about the podcast episodes of those movies. And that was on a scale from zero to 100. And fans, um, I think we had about a dozen fans submit scores of the podcast. So what they thought of the podcast. So basically, we I took all that information. I averaged scores. And I ranked everything from uh, the best movie number one to the worst movie number 40 of our first 40 featured. And I made randomized brackets for three separate categories. Uh, one is the um, our ratings of the movies. That chair used to be white. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's riffing on Joe's stinky ass uh, lounger. Um, Brown. <laughs> but, God. Um, we um uh, I, I we made three separate brackets. One is based on uh, just simply the Malevolent Movies gang scores of the movies themselves, how we felt about the movies. It's excluding the podcast, just what you think we thought of each movie. And then the second one is the uh, Malevolent Movies experience bracket, which is a combination of all scores, how we ranked, or how we rated the movies, how we rated um, our own podcast episodes, and how the fans rated the podcast episodes. And the last one, the most interesting one, was the fans' ratings of the podcast. So we have the movie bracket, the experience bracket, and the fan bracket. So you fill out all three, and basically you're just looking at the, the, the head-to-head matchups um, in each bracket. So we'll, we'll start with the, we'll look through the movie one really quick. So um, right off the gate, we've got Thanks Killing Up Against When Good Ghouls Go Bad. How do you guys think we felt about those movies? Taking the, the podcast out of the equation. Just simply, what do you think we thought of those movies? Big F versus Trolland. Super Hot versus The Uninvited. Sickness Ooh. House versus Ghost Quake. Ooh. And you just, you just, you have to think, okay, between these two movies, and I'm looking at what did the, the Malevolent Movies crew think of the movies, and you just pick one or the other. And the idea is that you get points for every um, uh, head-to-head matchup you get right. And it's up to 39 points per bracket. Um, Tyler, tell them what they win. We take all three different brackets. I add up your scores and the fan with the highest score gets a free t-shirt. You let us know what you want from the Malevolent Movie Store. Um, It's the t-shirt, not the hoodies or anything like that. It's too expensive. Fuck you for even thinking that. Piece of shit. (laughs) But the uh, Malevolent Movies gang, did we put in $5 or $10? We did a pool. $10. I'm out. Ten I'm bucks. Out ten yeah. bucks. Somebody ten bucks. won 70 goddamn dollars. 
or really 60 because they put in 10 of their own. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, we, we we went hard. We had a good time. It's a good one. It was fun. And it truly shocking results. Yes, it was very interesting. So uh, again, by yes. <laughs> Monday, June 13th at 6 p.m., you have to email your filled in brackets. These are PDFs, fillable PDFs um, to mm-hmm. malev.movies at gmail.com. Get them in. If it's 601, I'm sorry you don't get to get that free t-shirt. Nope. Tough luck. Hopefully, Joe will be back soon. Also, the summer series is launching, folks. Um, I think we're like two weeks away from the uh, kickoff episode and then the selections. Don't want to spoil anything, but uh, get get your favorite. Um, grow your hair out. Um, put on some glam makeup. Mm-hmm. To toss on a leather or a denim jacket. Because we're hitting the road, folks. And get ready to just jam out all summer long. And now we're just waiting for Joe to come back. Uh, Speaking of time, we can fill some. Let's talk about uh, Joe's stinky ass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I bet it smells real bad. Look, I got a pork (laughs) further. You sure did. Uh, Casey's. Joe's back. Hold it up again. Hold it up again. Okay. He's it's got a breaded a pork sandwich. Breaded pork oh. sandwich. Mm. I want to see you take a mm. bite of that, mm. though. Yeah, open it up. Let's hear the foil. I want to, to keep it hot. Uh, I want to kind of keep it in here so it stays hot. You eat while well, we're doing this. Who gives a shit? Oh, okay. The show is in shambles, Joe. Okay, well, I don't, I don't yeah. have any ketchup. Oh, Lord. Are you going to keep all the toppings you, on there? Wait, you have ketchup no, in plain. your fridge. No, I don't, I don't have a plate to put it in. I thought you like pickles. It's in foil. No. I don't like it with the bread. What? What? Yeah, you don't I like gotta, what with the bread? I, I don't eat the bread on these. You I don't eat it as the... a sandwich. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Why? You, you just eat the pork? Yeah, I like the pork. Why? Okay, so then, then take the bread off. Use the bread Lay as a the plate. foil out. Oh. And, yeah, what's... Are you, like, is this a no-carbs thing you're doing? Cause... Yeah, 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 no carb. No carb allowed. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I haven't allowed them in my okay, home. Okay, if you want to wait on your sandwich, you can wait on your sandwich. Yeah, I'll sandwich. wait for it. I'll wait for it to get hot. Okay, oh he keeps, gosh. like, gently patting it. Just, like, <laughs> god damn mm-hmm. it. It's like a baby. It's precious oh, to him. Lord. Joe, I want you to try my new barbecue sauce. I just developed a new Ooh. barbecue sauce last okay. night. I'm, oh, I'm, you got some from the lab? Yeah. Something from the lab. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I'll, maybe yeah. I'll send some your way. Oh, okay. I'll get your take on it. Okay, okay. Yeah, All yeah, All right, yeah. Buck, let's launch into this. Okay, again, okay. it's... Th- 30 this is the 2013 comedy yes 30 nights of paranormal activity with the devil inside the girl with the dragon t- is it tattoo tattoo yeah. yes does anyone remember this movie coming out i I, nope. I vaguely remember hearing about it i do uh, not nope yeah no i mean uh, yeah it, it's popped up i the poster that does long... look shockingly scary movie-esque, like late yeah. scary oh, yeah, movies yeah. i don't know thing. that this was even i don't think this got a theatrical release by any means did it it was uh, uh, directed for three million dollars. Uh, so yeah, I think it did. Yeah, I eh. saw the budget was three mil. I mean, I don't know. I I just remember it, these are very specific movies that are just parodies well, in the title yeah. alone. And the thing that's frustrating is the girl with the dragon tattoo is a very serious, like dramatic thriller, and has nothing to do yeah. with any of the other movies. Oh, well, okay. I, I think maybe they put it in here because this uh, film actually does feature a surprising amount of rape. Oh. Great. God, yeah, yeah, are yeah. Are you serious, Joe? No, I am. I am. Oh God! Well, let's just uh, get on with awesome. it. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh, this this director also did uh, Badass with Danny Trejo, Badass Two, Badasses, and then Badasses on the Bayou. So if you wanna if you wanna see some Badasses on the Bayou, you know where to go. Oh God, Danny Trejo have Danny is Trejo? In, the, in that one. Oh, oh, he's in the he's in. So is John Amos. He's in, what the? He's in fuck? Badass. Two as well. Oh, he yeah. is. Oh, he's the second badass. I, mean, I, I like Danny Trejo, but I just expect this of Danny Trejo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'll do yeah, it. Yeah. Expected a little better of Danny Glover. Okay. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So I'll right. kick this fucking sucker off. Okay. Uh, so the film opens on a fake internet advertisement. A bride and groom are in the middle of their post-wedding fuck, while the groom says, and I'm gonna quote him directly. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, oh, it's about to come. It's about to come. It's about to come. Ooh. And uh, she flips over on her back as he sprays Skittles all over his blushing bride. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. so we're 
<laughs> I take it this is a parody of the 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 Skittles commercial. Yes, this is, yes. this is this... oh, I forgot about that. Taste the rainbow. Yeah, boys. no. So taste the rainbow. Feel okay. the rainbow. So, like most many of these. Uh, many of these uh, low budget, low effort parody movies, a lot of very time specific references that yeah, have yeah, not you, aged well. Uh-huh. well. You almost need a time machine in order to really understand this film. Now, it, it this bit will last in hearts for the next 50 to 60 years. But every time I watch Scary Movie 2 and they do that riff on that basketball commercial. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that um, nobody remembers. Like, huh? <laughs> I yeah, love yeah. it because it makes no sense to anybody now. Yep. But <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe in a hundred years it'll be even better. I don't know. It'll I mean, be like kind of ironic. I, yes. Yeah. I just watched uh, the first scary movie a couple of weeks ago, and even the what's up oh, thing. Oh you know. lord. <sighs> oh, so uh, the meme text like kind of thing comes up, you know, and then it says "piddles in your face, in your hair." Okay. Starting off strong with this. Yeah, one. yeah. So next we see a mock version of Storage Wars, but then the two girls open up a locker and we see Adelaide doing a cover of Rolling in the Deep called Rolling in This Heap. Do they call her Adelaide? Uh, Do you mean I had Adele? to look I had to look at a oh Adele. Yeah, I, I know he needs Adele, okay, but I'm wondering if like, they call her that. Are we in Australia? Adelaide. Hello? <laughs> it's me. Okay, Joe. Remember, we're remember really sorry, say, international listeners. Say next scene, tell us the location, give me yeah, the context. Okay. Otherwise, my brain, it's been a long fucking month for me. Or I, I keep forgetting it's June now, it's not May anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they keep looking through the boxes for objects of value, and one of them is very happy to find the big, veiny silicone cock. <laughs> Who's one of them? Who are the people in the, the, room? the They don't factor into it. The, the two random girls, okay, are they the they're leads? not characters? No. No, they're not so, leads. No, no. So what happens is they find a VHS marked "found footage," okay, which is then revealed. Uh, so it open it, it re- it's kind of revealed to be this movie. So it opens up with news footage of a nine one one call. A woman's voice sings the five dollar footlong jingle. <laughs> okay, stop laughing, Nick. Stop You're not laughing. laughing, Tyler. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm laughing at something else that I just thought about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, independent. Yeah. Nick Shame and I are having too. an independent conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Different giggle. I want to watch the movie yeah. already. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's then revealed that there are eight demons inside this man, and he killed five people from the movie The Artist, the guy who's calling in. Okay. They are stood up like mannequins with black and white makeup on, and the dog is frozen in a state of taking a piss, while the unmoving piss is still trickling out of his doggy dick. Oh, come on. You're doing that thing again where you over-describe and use language that no one would think to use. Yes. Like yeah. doggy dick. It's doggy no, it's dick. Accurate. It's accurate. To it the is. Point. It's technically you. accurate. We, we understand that, but it's just the way that you say shit. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just so filthy. No, oh, well, this is the movie we're watching. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's revealed that one of our leads is uh, Dana, and she's shooting a documentary because it was... Her, it was her father that murdered those people uh, while an exorcism was being performed by clowns on him. Okay, okay, back it up. Say that okay. whole fucking sentence again. Okay, so it, it's very convoluted in the film as well. I believe it's, you. It's I'm revealed you. that one of our leads is Dana. Yeah, what's the title of this fucking thing again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she's shooting a documentary because it was her father that murdered those people while an exorcism was being performed Buy clowns on him. Performed. Yes. <laughs> Can't look yeah. back and get by. Why? Why? What's wrong with that? I just love it when your tongue and teeth and cheeks just fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's just moving so much that it, every yeah, now and then no. it's going to bump, bump. It's a lot of gears turning in the old brain. Yeah, man. A lot of mass moving. Oh, yeah. So uh, her father was found not guilty due to insanity. And then it cuts to news footage where he strips off his clothes fucks the lawn gnome, and demands a five-way from the bovines in blue. Wait, who are the bovines in blue? The cops just, like, uh, kind of, like, taking him out of his home. Wait, okay, did, okay, is that okay. you putting that in, or did they call them that in the movie? No, 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 that was me making a joke. Jesus. Was editorializing? Yes. Don't, okay, yeah. but you gotta understand, you say shit when we're doing a, when we're doing yeah. this specific collector's okay. edition, we I gotta understand. just, we're just gonna believe everything you say, because that's that could be a joke, potentially. So, okay. 
Okay. Be careful with your creative language. I understand. I understand. <laughs> and I've never uh, heard that before. Is that a is that a common parlance? Bovines and blue? No fucking way. No, I mean bovines just an old term for pig. <laughs> That's how I thought it. Oh, oh, no. okay, okay, that's fine. God damn. Okay, uh, I understand. This is Joe's new take on this. This is Joe's, yeah, Joe's weird brand of comedy. Uh huh. And yeah. I'm, you know what? He's trying. I'm here for it. Fuck you, bovine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss, kiss my ass. God damn you, bovine. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to coin things. Yeah. <laughs> oink, 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 bovine. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bovines in blue. Uh, mm. So uh, Dana, Dana goes through the cameras filming her uh, at the Italian psych ward her father is being kept in. Whoa, 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 hold on. Italian? The, it comes up. Doesn't have up. a name? She says specifically Italian psych ward. It's are like, the bars made of spaghetti? Oh, Tyler, um, that's really good. Mar- Mario and Luigi are revealed to be doctors. <laughs> <laughs> and they are using marinara sauce as blood. <laughs> This is a joke we would write. Oh, it is. It, Nick, we did. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to say anything more than Italian no. hospital. No, you don't. Uh, so it's revealed, uh, she's basically uh, going through the camera filming her, and it's revealed she has a 3D camera, and then she throws a pen cap at the screen, and it pops out at us. Okay. Uh, so Did her, you watch the 3D version? I don't believe it. No, I think it's just a little joke about, like, the 3D craze. It okay. doesn't like physically like pop out in 3D, but it like gets like not close to the camera kind of. Sure, I can imagine. I get it, you. Yeah. Uh, so she sees her dad. Her dad's doing a Rain Man character and wants to play connect the dots on his arm. It's revealed to be a QR code, and when he scans it, he tells her that she just bought him two hookers on coupon or Groupon or whatever. <laughs> coupon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, that that was in the barrel because Joe's been buying hookers on coupon all the time. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's always the a threat of truth wrong with every joke. Coupon is the QAnon Groupon that they launched, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. We're just really trying to figure out the pedophilia angle. Oh, all right. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, so, no, no. So he pulls back his lip, and F off Dana is written on it. Okay. All right. Dana is on, <laughs> Dana is on The Bachelor. Uh, it's a new scene. And fucks a guy <laughs> named Aaron in front of the other ladies. They have a teenage daughter and a baby, and they find out that Dana's house is on the market. Childhood ho- house is on the market. Whew, that was a sentence. Take that again. You know. Yeah, bust out the air uh, for that one. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> burr, burr, burr. <laughs> they have a teenage daughter and a baby, and find out that Dana's childhood house is on the market. They film the unpacking, and they have a gay housekeeper named Felipe. They make some love in the new house, and they get walked in on with BDSM gear and a leaf blower. <laughs> They make love in new house. Uh-huh. <laughs> they consummate the new house. Yes. I, I want to hear Joe, like, Joe, write, write, write uh, a romantic novel. Oh, and then oh, read it. I want to hear the yeah. book on yeah, tape yeah. or the audio he, book of you oh, doing yeah. a, a he romantic He sucked novel. on the woman's nipples wetly. In new house. <laughs> yeah. In new on home. Boat. Yeah, yeah. The boat. boat rocking. The boat rocking made his womb knocking. Better. His womb? His womb knocking. Ugh. You gotta use flowery language. They like it. No, like womb right. knocking, like fucking. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Knocking up against the makes womb. his womb uh-huh. knocking better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does yeah, that yeah, make yeah. sense? Really hard. To really hard, Dick. Now? <laughs> In, yeah, is yeah, everyone, yeah. Is everyone raw bricked up <laughs> now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard dick, wet. Oh, that's oh, getting Jesus weird. Christ. Why, 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 why? That's too much. Okay, okay where are we? Where are we, Joe? Uh, so they get up in the morning. The room is decorated, and Paula Bean made them breakfast. <sighs> what does she look like? Paula Bean. But her name is Paula Bean. <laughs> yeah, we've heard. <laughs> yeah, and she's got like a new uh, low-fat food, and she's deep frying butter. That I've, I've seen her do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nick's had her over. Uh. Uh, a camera installation woman comes in, who s- and then she says that the table in their home would be good to fuck on. <laughs> then she says that... Why? Uh, that why? She does, yeah. No, She's, why does she say it? I don't know. Just general crudeness. So far, okay, general I'm crudeness. glad you said those words, Joe. <laughs> because if I'm being honest, 
the way you're describing this movie, it sounds like a movie you would have written. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is exactly, yeah. these are the exact sort of things that you would say, oh, and then he comes in and he fucks her, and then he comes, and then yeah, the dog yeah. fucks and comes. And he comes oh, skittles, no, 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 and the gonna dog, be a dog later is on, on the floor. Like There's the, gonna be a dog later on. Like the worst version of the aristocrats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> More like the Aristocats. Hey, yeah, yeah. What if it, okay? What if we do a Disney film where it's the Aristocats and then they're all they're all shitting and fucking each other? Boo! Next. <laughs> Why? No, no, that would be good. Uh, no. so the yeah, yeah, so they're installing cameras basically in the whole home to kind of be like paranormal activity, and then she says that their baby's crib bars would be a good place to get a blowjob in between. Who? This is the camera person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and this is their shtick, is that they just keep talking about where, where to bang and screw yeah, and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Are they, like, angling the cameras in those directions as well? Yeah, yeah, basically, yep. But, like, are they doing, is that kind of the part of the riff? Is that, like, oh, and this would be a great place to fuck, too, and then they point the camera at it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not sure uh, I believe you, but fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, while installing a camera outside, she pisses standing up in their flowers. <sighs> don't know why it's funny yeah uh while it cuts from shots inside the house so basically all the cameras are now set up she's left and they've got all the cameras set up uh two nude women are showering each other off and scrubbing their bitch real good in the shower two nude women yeah yeah <laughs> two new woman scrub bits <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> caveman buckley again <laughs> uh-huh. dana has to shoo them out okay uh Get out night of here. two is yeah, yeah, yeah. You stop that. Yeah. Stop washing your bits. Yep. Uh, night... That's something we never hear from his parents. <laughs> yeah, no Night kidding. two is shown through the camera, and Felipe is <laughs> thrusting two? his... Night two? What do you mean? Because I, I guess that's in Paranormal Activity. It goes night two, night four, sure. night seven. Sure. Oh, but we're, like, watching... Okay, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're watching the footage that, that is being... I forgot we're yeah. watching some footage. Yes, yeah, 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 there, there's yeah, two women watching this, right, from... That yes. were set yeah, up at the beginning. Yeah, in the very, very beginning. Yeah, and yes. it does come back. It does come back. I forget there's okay. a, what do you call it, framing device. Do they yes. cut, come back just at the end, or is just it? Just the very, very end, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, it, Felipe is thrusting into the pool water jet. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So uh, Dana and Aaron are sleeping in their bed, and the ghost floats a marker in and draws cat whiskers on him. <laughs> That's okay. it? Not, not a penis? Uh, it also says pussy on the top of it. Ah, oh, right. That's yeah, yeah. That's even lazy. That's less funny too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, when they review the footage, Aaron says it could be anything, like Scientologists. Like they, they Scientologists could be behind what's happening. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. She, he doesn't think it's a ghost. Okay. Okay. Fair. So Dana explains that when she was seven, she would get drunk with tiny teacups with her sister, and that unrelated, her father killed the a- the artist actors. Killed the artist actor. The actors yeah. in the artist, the movie. In the artist, in the film, yeah. John so they, Goodman too. Uh, John Goodman wasn't shown, but I I guess so. Yeah. Are they are they spe- uh, explicitly saying referencing it as the movie The Artist? Yes. Yeah, they do. What a weird! I, it was it, big. People love the artist. Was Teens this, love the artist. Was this made like right after it won Best Picture? Well, I think Artist was two thousand nine. Two thousand eleven. Two thousand eleven. Okay, okay. No, that makes sense. That makes more okay. sense. Okay, hold hold on one second. Vampires suck. I think we talked about this. Is oh that, yeah? This is completely different. People. It's a, it's a region. Suck it, is well, Regency Enterprises did this. Warner Brothers did Scary Movie. Um, this was distributed by 20th Century Fox, which also distributed 30 Nights of Paranormal Activity. Oh, with okay. So bits. it's just kind of the whole, like, the whole slop trough. Different director, same slop trough. So do you think this is, is it a conspiracy? Is this why Disney bought 20th Century? Is they really wanted they this catalog it, yeah. of films? They needed 30 Nights of Paranormal Imagine this being like right next to Mickey Mouse on Disney+. Plus. Oh my god, yeah. yeah I, I, this, I actually... Hunchback, Roger Rabbit. Uh, <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk yeah. starring the Mickey Mouse well, and then 30 Nights of Paranormal Activity with the devil inside the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah, yeah. No, I, and then I the heard, Apple like, Dumbling Gang. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I heard on Blu-ray.com that like Criterion was going to license these whole sets of films for a giant box, and Disney was very worried that Criterion would overtake them in the market share then, so they bought the entire company to stop them from releasing that. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Uh, oh, so then we cut to a toilet cam showing Aaron peeing. What do you mean a and toilet then, cam? There's a camera in the toilet, too. In the bowl? Do we see full, uh... Penis? Schmeckle? We, uh, we see him pissing in on, like, basically pissing on the camera, and then the whole crapper over overflows of piss. The whole crap. Okay, okay, uh, POV, we're POV, we we're are the POV. toilet, correct? Yeah, we're so POV. Are we, are we we're seeing looking the... Up, we're look- but do I you see, see Dingle? No dink? I did not see the penis. No dink in the frame. How did they pull that off, then? I'd have to look at it again, but it's very wet. It's very, like, splashy. It's very wet. You wouldn't understand. Because he's pissing directly on the camera itself, so it's very, like, splashy. I don't... Here, I can take a look. I can take a look at it. I can't visualize. Anyway. Oh, okay. Why does Uh, this movie exist? uh, Well, uh, this actually has a 12% on Ryan Tomatoes. So ten percent of people love no this. no fooling one out of ten yeah yeah no fooling twelve percent uh, uh, critic twelve percent audience Joe's new thing no fooling no fooling yeah, no, no. Fool. no fooling so yeah one out of ten people loved this film they absolutely loved it they clapped whenever they saw it droll was coming out of their mouth and then their popcorn bucket was this movie probably mouth. made eighty five million dollars well it's the same cross section of people who love this and uh, the artist oh yeah yeah people who got brained on the head as a child. Brain brain on the head. Head. Yeah, brains on the head. Just whammo. Whammo. So on night five, uh, the sleeping couple do the pottery thing from Ghost in the Bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the title. From Ghost, Ghost in the Bed. In the yeah, bed. yeah. That sounds lazy. It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, and calls... it's so played out. Like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. nothing to do with that. Oh, no, you're going to get us a copyright strike. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, My that was so beautifully sung. <laughs> He's got a weird wiener. <laughs> and <it>. but <laughs> I like that love song. And but he's got two butts. <laughs> if I remember correctly, in the lore that's, of the show, that's incorrect. That's actually incorrect. He's got that a butt was a in the back and a butt in the front. Joe no. Buckley. It's the Joe no, Buckley show, no, no. folks. What and happens that, next in this fucking okay. movie? Joe? <laughs> Get uh, us out of here. <laughs> okay, so it cuts to day ten, and footage is shown of Felipe on a pool floaty fucking the pool vacuum. That can't be the only joke. It yeah, is, yeah, yeah. But like, this is the thing. That's the only joke you make too, and that's why we're so frustrated. And then, and then somebody fucks something in the scene. That's why I can't even wrap my head around you giving this this a review. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, well, how about this? How about this? The teenager Liz lusts after their neighbor, Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln? Because Lincoln, yeah. Lincoln happened. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Lincoln, or when was Vampire Slayer? Oh, Vampire Slayer oh. was like 2012, I think. So that's probably why they're doing it, yeah. Was Weird. it Lincoln that said it? Or was yeah, someone else? yeah, it was Lincoln. It was Lincoln. Oh. Yeah. I thought so. Oh, well, fuck. I thought that was one that was there when I worked there. So when did Lincoln come out? 2013? Lincoln was also 12. Lincoln was like um, Oscar season twenty twenty. I hate I hate this movie because th- you got to do so, research. So many movies <laughs> came out in this time period, and so many of them were just like nothing and forgotten. And like oh, they yeah. they went so hard on so many of these movies that that were nothing and completely forgotten about. And it's yeah. just yeah. so frustrating to me yeah, that twenty twelve parodied just because they exist. Big Lincoln year. Both Lincoln yeah. movies came out that year. So, uh, Abe Lincoln is chopping down a tree inside this home while she spots. <laughs> while whenever why she spots was him. was the tree there before he came in the room? That's funny. That's is how this like Rustin Carr's yeah. house from Book of Shadows? Uh, you guys, go listen to our old episode from yeah, like a month ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is shameful. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, they, we didn't they... pick this movie. <laughs> Nick and I didn't pick this movie. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. No, I it's it. my fault. <laughs> uh, so they, Lincoln sees her lusting after him and goes over to her house. Uh, she said that she wasn't actually looking at him. She was drawing in her notebook. And then in her notebook, there's just like a drawing of Abe Lincoln chopping the tree. <sighs> so Abe Lincoln's just a character in this movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. He is a character. <laughs> he's, he, he's, he's hanging around? Yeah, yeah, he kind of, yep, <sighs> chills. That's okay. All. Yeah. 
So Liz goes to talk with, but that's fine. Uh, Liz goes to talk with Felipe about how to win over Abe. There's a big stain on his bed of two men 69ing. Oh, 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 like there's a huge stain in the shape of two men 69ing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. (laughs) Yeah, there's no sweat Like a chalk outline? Essentially, yeah, it's just sweaty, like a sweat stain, and then you see the dicks pretty clearly going into each other's mouths. <laughs> like, like the brown stain on that chair you're sitting yeah. No, no. This this film is like, it, it was rated R in theaters. We're not even watching an uncut in version. In theaters? This was released yes. in theaters? No, Oh, it wasn't. had to be. No. I don't think, I don't think so. There's I no, don't. oh, you know what? January 15th, 2013. <laughs> it's, a nothing, okay. it's a nothing month. No, because this was distributed... By 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. There's oh, okay. no. Oh, so maybe it was way. direct to DVD. It has to be. Uh, so God. He... Also, this Craig Moss guy. I've seen his other movie in yeah, yeah. like Walmart. It's the 41 year old virgin who knocked up Sarah Marshall and felt super bad about it. Oh, yeah, great. he did. There's he felt super one we bad. Do. Yeah, there's an, and this was an even earlier film, so it's gonna be even worse. Oh, Randall the, Park is in it? Yeah. Melissa no. Via Senor? What, what what's kind of interesting though is it looks like this guy did like all this shit garbage and then he did what looks to be like kind of like a real movie. Shit it's it's like a horror movie called Let Us In and it looks like there's some modicum of effort put into it. Modicum. Well, that's a, that's the thing though. You can't blame the director for something like this. Now the 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 seltzer and whatever guy they write direct their shit. I'm guessing yeah, this, this guy was... also wrote directed he wrote and directed uh, this one, the forty-one-year-old version, badass version. two, badass on the Bayou version. But he, yeah, did... so he's a writer director. Okay, and, yeah, but he producer. did also write this. Let us in this new one. Yeah, and that um, seems to be like a movie. Yeah, based on the. Well, it's Joe, they're based all on the movie. I it's understand. Based... I'm just making a little goof. Well, hold on now. It's based on the concept of the black-eyed children that like mm. meme. Oh, it's like an internet. internet. Thing. Thing. So, yeah. oh boy, who knows? Okay. okay. Anyway, that's a little detour, folks. Back yes. to so, the uh, and we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever. So, this uh, movie is. Yeah. Felipe covers up his gerbil cage and says they don't bite. And okay. then, why, uh, why, why, why are gerbils there? Is this a Richard? He's Gere a gay thing? man. He's a gay it's, man. They gerbil. So he wants they to gerbil. put them in his butt, like Richard yes. Gere. Yes. Yeah, because this is thing all gay dudes didn't. like, right, Joe? Can yeah, we oh get yeah. you, can we get you on film, record yeah. saying that? <laughs> um, I can, done I his can, research. Uh, I can maybe be persuaded to go on tape during, about this. I believe it. You know, I don't know. Nothing no more. Be deposed on the subject. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Felipe then gives her uh, date rate drugs to use on Abe, and they giggle. Oh, no. Yeah, and they're specific, yeah it's specifically like roofies, yeah. Oh, I don't like where this is going, based on what you told us earlier. Oh, yeah. So at night, Felipe, dressed as the Black Swan, is dancing through their home. God, remember uh, that movie, guys? Remember when yeah, Natalie it was Portman a movie. and Mila Kunis danced? Yeah, this, yeah, this just is like Perfect hour, Blue. Just like sounds Perfect like Blue. an hour and a half long like Family Guy cutaway. Yes. Yeah, essentially, yes. <laughs> yeah. It really that's does. That's a good way to describe it. You think that's bad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't really grind my gears. Oh. Mm. Uh, so the ghost harpoons him, and then they break the fourth wall by acknowledging the film crew. So basically, they, they just kind of run past, like, the film crew just kind of filming all this. Gotcha. That's so... Fine. They're breaking yeah, that wall. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. so they find him, uh, dead <laughs> the next day, next to the vac- the pool vacuum, and Aaron's very concerned God because... God damn the, it. Yeah, if, like, another hour had went by, they would have had, like, a mossy pool. So he puts the vacuum back in the pool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next night, Dana does the paranormal activity stand up and stare thing, but then she beefs it in his face. She farts? Yeah, she does a big fart. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. She does a big fart. <laughs> um, she does a delicious beef. Um, yeah. Joe, if you had to describe <laughs> this movie as, okay. as where we at, as where we are right now in the plot, what is, what is happening in this movie? Yeah. Well, that's the biggest issue. I mean, nothing is happening in this movie. It's just little sketch after sketch after sketch. I okay. guess the only thing that's happened is that they are scared of house and they do camera. <laughs> They're scared, scared of, of house, house and, and they do, do camera. camera. Yeah. Are you intentionally deteriorating? 
hot? No, no, for this, for that, I was just to make it like okay. that could be the tagline of the film. Just like let they me do know, house, they let put me know camera. when you smell burnt toast. Okay, oh, okay, <laughs> or whatever it is, because I just I don't like it when they take my blood. Get away from my blood, I say. When they take my blood, yeah, they do. They keep doing it. Give I me hate my it. blood back. Yep. I don't know uh, what they're doing with it. I don't like it. Yeah. So then the still possessed Dana slathers peanut butter on his penis and then invites a dog inside to lick it off. Slatters. Yep. While the dog is satisfying the sleeping man, he oh. remarks that her nose is cold, and to watch oh. the teeth. That, that bit's even been done before, yeah. where somebody's getting pleasured by, like, a, an animal doing something yeah. to oh, them. Yeah. Like, this is... Oh. Yeah. So I'm Aaron, worried that you could make a better version of this movie, Joe. I could. I'm, I I'm worried that you're gonna try. Okay. I want him to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's called Vampires jo Get Sucked Off. Joe, okay, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on here. Joe? Wait, what? How much money would you need to make your own spoof movie? Uh, I'm not even joking right I don't now. Know. What's, what's a good if we budget were for costuming to give you some money, and shit? If, if, if it only took you like $3,000 or $4,000, I'd be willing. Here's a camera. Okay. Go make the fucking thing. Bring it back. I'll edit yeah. it. I'll okay, help. Okay. I, I'd be down. I'd be I down. legitimately want a spoof movie from you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd be down. Right okay, there, shit. fans. Yeah. Get in the comments. Uh, if you get us, let's, I'm trying yeah, to think of yeah. a reasonable number. 50 likes on this video. Oh. 50 likes. This is such we'll a low bar. We'll spend $3,000. We, we, Joe, how about this? If we get 50 likes, you will write a script, a treatment. Okay. How about? Mm, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I, I think I need this. I legitimately think is, I need the this. The bar is super low, Joe. Yeah, you no, can... I know. There's no way I can fail. <laughs> I think that you Beautiful. could do a good job at this. Yeah, too, true. Too big to fail. Yeah. I'm just like uh, I'm just like Wall Street. It's beautiful. Yeah. There's nothing I can do wrong. Even better, Joe's gonna be spoofing a bunch of movies he's never seen before. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't like watching them like cats. Oh god, yeah. Like I just I pick up my kitties and make them dance. <laughs> I don't know. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> I wanna see him spoof Avatar. Okay, yeah. Fifty likes. Just completely covered in blue paint. All of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll pay myself blue for your movie. Okay, good, good. And then they also do, we do a bit where they're the blue man group as well. There Take you go. Take the script. Take the script. Write that down. Okay. It's just as, it has, so, has just as much thought put into it as exactly this Exactly as much, yeah. Uh-huh. I want $3 million to make this. Why can't we have it? Let's prove him okay, wrong. Keep, keep go, going. Go. Keep going. Okay, so Aaron reviews the footage next morning and is pissed at the ghost. He decides to use the Ouija board, but then he has to run off to sneak illegals across the border. He just says that? Yeah, yeah, they say that. Yeah. Is <sighs> illegals wasn't your terminology? No, that's what they say, yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, it's in the film. But like is 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 that just the joke is just referencing the fact that people are crossing the border? Yeah, they whenever they come back in the house a bit later on, they also say like, "Wow, we were matched just think twenty of them this time." They really do. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's in there. But we don't see anything. No, no, that would be too expensive. <laughs> I mean, it would be. Yeah, you can't put. See, like, he's 10 already got the mind car. for this too. Yeah, I do. I do. A hundred percent. Yeah, I, I, I really know how to film value. He's already on this wavelength and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we can't possibly do that. That's too expensive. Let's do something shittier instead. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just just say anything as yeah. an excuse. And uh, hey, I gotta go. I don't know. Yep, yep. yep. I gotta go eat the Mona Lisa. Yep, yep, yep. yep I'll yep. be right back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. I'll get the art critics in. Yeah. Uh. So air. Uh. So the ghost burns the board. <laughs> Wait, ghost. And... Hold up. I'm what? lost already. Start me Oh, there off. is a ghost Where's in the film. There is a ghost there, in the yeah. film. The paranormal okay. activity ghost? Yeah. Okay. Do we well, see I, the ghost? Later on, oh, we see like somebody in like clothes and invisible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so he, he uh, burns the Ouija bird, and then he picks up a bong, and he sparks up a fat rip. <sighs> okay. The ghost. And then, and then he watches porn on the TV until he comes. This is the ghost. This is the ghost. The ghost is doing this. Are you inferring that? I'm not. No, that's his feature in the film. Do you see ejaculate? He, uh, you don't see ejaculate, but what happens is Aaron picks up the cum covered piece of the Ouija, and then he finds doing your mom written on the back of the board. He says, "Ooh, that's ectoplasm." 
but it's calm. It's really calm. It's calm. It's really calm. He got tricked by the ghost. That's what you, that's what you're saying to your mom all the time. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. it's ectoplasm. Ectoplasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got this. I'm a ghost hunter, mommy. Yeah, you've seen. You've seen I have to stay in the basement to to keep the ghosts from getting you. Uh huh. You've seen the Ghostbusters. I'm like Slimer, mom. I'm like Slimer. Oh. Every night when you when you hear the ghost, uh, moaning, <laughs> mommy's milking, okay. mommy's milking. This makes more sense because his his parents legitimately think he's their boy is dead, mm. and that's why he stays in the house. They haven't the, kicked all me these out. Years. Yeah, they don't mind Uh-oh. the ghastly smells coming from the they room. They think he's a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Oh, they, because they, they, smothered, they smothered Joe as a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't dead yet. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yep, yep. I'm like the I'm like the boy in the Simpsons Dress a horror episode. Bart's brother. I'm gonna give Bart's you like twenty brother. more minutes on this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, no, I, I'm willing to take any kind of fund, funding that's available. What? Uh, so they put cocaine on the floor and follow the trail up to the attic with a foot trail. Uh, first it's like baby feet, and then it's big boy feet, and then it goes up to the attic. I hate, I hate this. <laughs> yeah, and then up in the attic, they find the insurance mischief man making a mess of the installation. Oh, so you remember the, the guy in the commercial who made mischief? Hurt. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. I can't, I can't remember Liz Lemon's ex boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Oh, from 30 Rock. yeah. Yeah, he, he guy, says like, "What oh, mischief?" There's and he a joke see about me. that guy in this movie. Mm-hmm. That thing's been happening f- since 2012? I, I guess so, yeah. Holy shit. Uh, so, uh, Dana and Aaron have to go on a date, and Liz is babysitting. They uh, have she, to. Yeah, yeah, they have to. She accidentally drops the baby <laughs> before they leave. Excellent. Yep. Um, <laughs> it's so a funny she, sound effect, too. Yeah, yeah, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> And then whenever she goes up to put him in the crib, she drops him again. <laughs> ah! Of course. Oh, thank you. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I had to do the sound effect again. Uh, so a strange woman knocks on the door, and she asks if she can fondle Liz's 12-year-old boy ass. What? And then they strip to the, their underwear and kiss. What is, what is the bit here? So I don't know exactly what they were referencing. It's like, um, maybe it was some kind of MTV, like, lesbian softcore porn thing. I don't know. They don't have that on MTV, but... Well, I just, like, it wasn't p- softcore porn. It's, like, women in bikini kiss- kissing stuff. I assume that's on TV. I have no idea. Women in bikini kissing stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Abe Lincoln uh, looks through the door and stops by for a drink. Uh, and she slips the date rape drug into his glass by exclaiming that John Wilkes, Wilkes Booth is here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she ends up getting thrown through the air uh, off of him by the ghost, and it's shown that Felipe is a ghost now. Uh, oh, he rips okay, hold on a second. This is just getting worse. Um, yeah, yeah. Joe, of course, wouldn't know this person um, because the, he doesn't know actors. No. Uh, but it, it, John Aaron, is, Booth? Aaron is the husband, correct? Yes, yeah. Aaron is fucking French Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> oh so my God. Completely... I was picturing some like handsome, no offense, yeah. French Stewart, some like younger, <laughs> blonde, handsome man. French Stewart loves the show. <laughs> it, but it's it's probably 45 to 50 year old French Stewart. Yeah. Holy shit. This is like birthday boy. This is Goofy Roofer's French Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy Roofer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Felipe the ghost, uh, he <laughs> rips off Abe Lincoln's shirt, and then he sticks his genitals in Abe Lincoln's mouth. Uh, of course he does. Yeah, he gives him a teabagging. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yep. And then Liz gets locked out of the house. Uh, when Dana and Aaron come back, okay. the, the ghost starts fucking her now with chocolate muffin breath. Someone ate his chocolate muffin. <laughs> chocolate muffin breath. She, they mentioned that this ghost has chocolate muffin breath. And then they look in the fridge and his chocolate muffin's gone. That sounds like something that, like, you would call someone in, like, grade school. Uh, chocolate muffin yeah, breath. Muffin yeah, breath. you chocolate muffin breath. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good line. You eat your mother's chocolate defense. muffin? Yeah. That means you're an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a real <laughs> chocolate muffin, all right. Next. The next day, the Ghost Brothers are in their fan van filming their new directions. Uh, they still have done nothing the whole movie. The next night, <laughs> Dana gets dragged out of bed and into the street. The ghost drags her into a snack store. I, the ghost I, I, has I, some munchies. Okay. 
Yeah, he. They made like some trips and stuff. Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, she's still possessed the next morning with bite marks, but the boss is stopping by for dinner. <gasps> what oh, hijinks shit. will ensue? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so Aaron finds a Craigslist ad for an exorcist, and it turns out to be a little person. He's revealed to be a Jewish exorcist. Then Dana breaks the chains, tying her to the bed. Uh, she does the spider walk thing where she kind of like gets up on all fours like this, and then she queefs. <laughs> Who plays? God damn it! <laughs> Who plays the little person? Is it someone? I've never seen someone famous. I it, it, you will know Nick. I can't remember his name from Seinfeld. Oh, Mickey Kramer's oh. good friend, Mickey. Yeah. Uh, so Aaron's boss, Donald Trump, stops by. And says that he sharded himself. I God damn it. <laughs> I hate this so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the TV turns on by itself and plays the footage of him getting blown by the dog. Up, oh, up, oh, hold, hold Trump on, hold on. Trump fires him. I, I think I was wrong. I think I was wrong. Da, 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 da. 30 nights of... I don't want to Joe Buckley this thing. Holy oh, okay. shit. You want only accurate information about this film. What What was his name again? That What's what's the little person's name? I don't think he had a name. Mickey? No, no, no. In, I think uh, I in the, the film. Movie. I have no idea. I don't think he had a name in the film. Oh, I have no clue. He's on the poster. I thought it was... It he's looks only like in him. this. He's in this for like half a minute. If it's, it's not on his filmography, though. No, he wouldn't put this on his IMDb. Well, maybe he probably that, keeps removing it. Yeah, maybe that's the case. All right, sorry. Yeah, oh, no problem, no problem. So yeah, so he's uh, <laughs> looking you. He's looking at the uh, the film of him getting his dick sucked by the dog, and Trump fires him. Oh, that's, uh, that's definitely him. Okay, it is definitely him, and his character's name in this is Sluggy Corn Nuts. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry, Sluggy, I didn't, I didn't remember your name. No, his real name's Danny, god damn it. No, no, no I'm, I'm playing sorry, the Sluggy. character Sluggy. I'm sorry, Sluggy. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. So, Mr. Trump asks to borrow the dog for a few days, and then calls him a loser for buying generic peanut butter. Okay. Yeah. He likes to get stuck off by dogs. Uh, Aaron Wait. yells at the ghost, and he shows himself to be Bane. Are you talking Dark Knight, Bane? Yep, he rises. Yep, Dark Knight rises. What the fuck? Uh, Aaron can't understand him, so he rips off the mask and attacks him. Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, it was hard to it was hard to follow what he was saying. <laughs> Buckley, just like yep. that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I'm seeing that it wasn't Donald Trump, but his name is Ronald Crump in the okay, movie. Okay, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Crump. Why did they even change the name? Yeah, he's a public yeah. figure. You can do like, that. Like, why does it fucking matter? No one's uh, gonna see this. Who cares? No, no. So Aaron can't understand him, so he rips off the mask and attacks him. Excellent. The priest and his sidekick are lying in bed watching TV, and then the sidekick touches his cock through the popcorn bucket. How old is the... Uh, he's adult. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, so the Hunger Games announcers show up, and then they all get sucked into the Ghost Brother box. The Ghost Brother box. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Well, remember the Ghostbusters are in the Ghost Brothers are in the film and they've done nothing. So at this point, they come back with a Ghostbusters box called the Ghost Brothers box, and they suck up the ghosts into it. What is this a parody of? My head just caved. I guess I, I think it's a parody of Ghostbusters, but it's also like a parody of yeah, like the, the I guess sci-fi I don't know channel like Ghost confused, Hunters because it all seems. Yeah, <laughs> it's so coherent. It's logical. Yeah. yeah, it's very logical. Also, this guy who played Ronald Crump. Um, plays a Dr. Phil lookalike in Disaster Movie. Oh. Plays Donald Trump in You Got Trumped the First 100 <gasps> Days. Yeah. Plays Donald Trump lookalike in Meet the Spartans. Mm-hmm. And plays, you guessed it, folks, Donald Trump in Not Another Celebrity Movie. Oh. Okay. Not Another Celebrity Movie? Not another, not another one. celebrity movie. So How much a, you want to bet? Spoof? He says you fired in all guys, of those. guys, everybody, yeah. America, please. I'm gonna need you to listen to what the IMDb blurb is for not another celebrity movie. Ooh, okay. Charlie Sheen getting the idea that Justin Bieber is his biological son and okay. recruiting famous friends like George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, and Donald Trump to helm him. 
kidnap the Beeb. Mm. This it, sounds now, like are the, any of these the actual people, or are they all no, like? Oh, God, certainly no. no. This sounds like the next uh, collector's edition for Joe to describe oh, to okay, us. Okay, yes. okay. I want to see Sheen try to get the Beeb. Sheen no, that, that's not a very good. Beeb. Sheen get the Beeb. <laughs> that's not a very good plot for <laughs> that's a, a better film. title. That is yeah. a better title. Sheen get the Beeb. Get the beeb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're grabbing the Beeb. <laughs> Sheen get the Beeb. Oh, yeah. Let Sheen get the beeb. Help Sheen get the beeb. So Abe Lincoln comes back and kills the Ghost Brothers with an axe. Comes on whose back? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Snagglepuss. <Yeah. laughs> I came on his back. <laughs> oh, God. So Liz comes back and tases him. And she's a ch- changed teenager. She's, she's nice now. And she says she found the most wonderful guy in the the pool vacuum humps her leg. Oh, the pool vacuum? It's sentient? The, yeah, 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 I guess it was, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I watched Scary Movie 5 not that long ago, and they have a sentient pool cleaner fucking thing going on oh, in there. Oh, yeah, they all of them rep each other off, yeah. God. Why'd you watch that, Tyler? Because I remember seeing it in theaters and laughing my ass off. Um, okay. I mean, not not that it was like, some 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 of the jokes in the movie are legitimately funny, but... Also laughing at the film. Um, there's a wonderful bit in Scary Movie 5 where they keep cutting to people like uh, driving from one location to another. But it's just uh, it's an empty uh, uh, remote control car um, and <laughs> yeah. beautiful scenery, though. Beautiful miniature scenery. And it's just great. Okay. Was that the one with uh, Dr. Phil and Shaq or is that four? That's four. Okay. That's four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the only thing I remember about it. Hi, guys. Uh, you know, uh, call in uh, 1-800-SCARY-MOVIE-SCARY-LOVE uh, oh, okay. and yep. uh, hear all of the facts and uh, trivia about the Scary Movie series. <laughs> I like it when the boy gets hit in the back of the head. You think that's bad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Very good, Nick. <laughs> all right, Joe. How much, uh, how much longer is this? This is essentially, yeah, this is it. Oh, okay. Uh, I think, yeah. Yeah. So it cuts to like a few days later or whatever. Her dad comes back from the asylum with discount hookers. Comes on who's back? What do you mean discount? Because is remember, two for the price of one. And she, the, he also calls oh, the them discount oh, coupons. He, he it got a all Q ties and back together. coupon. Yes. Yep. Uh, so we cut back to the Storage Wars ladies, and they call the movie crap. Adelaide liked it and wait wants a minute, more butter. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this a Storage Wars thing that we missed? This is the whole framing sequence? I mentioned the Storage a... Wars in the very, very beginning. Did yeah. you? I missed it. You I did. apologize. I apologize. That's me. Shame yeah. on you, movie. Yeah, yeah. Adele really wants more butter. Oh, wait, that's, yeah. that just happened? Well, because it's in the rolling in the heap. Oh, God. We're rolling in the heap. Mm. Yeah, so that's it. That's 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 it. That's it. And that's then, the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. Adele wants butter. That's it. Adele want more butter. <laughs> that's just, Adele want more butter. Adele yeah, want does. more butter. I'm the typical audience of this. Film. Is it an Adele fat joke? Is yes, that yeah, what it she's is? Big fat. She okay. was, yeah. except she's, she's not anymore. So yeah. they've got. Well, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to no delete idea. the movie. Well, she okay. she was l- more robust then, yeah. but. She was sucking butter out of a tube in this film. Well, no, she was eating popcorn. <laughs> okay, no post credits. No, I looked nothing. I no seen setup. Nothing. Okay. Did you lie to us at all? I never lied to you once. I wouldn't dream of lying to you guys. Wow, Joe. A hundred percent true. This film. What a what a gent. What a guy. Yeah. Fans, go out, go forth, find more of these. <laughs> the, there has to be. I want to watch an independently made movie. Oh, that man. that is a spoof like these like somebody out there in, yeah, in fucking Missouri any? with $40,000 did one of these I saw that there was like uh, Anchor Bay released one where it's like making fun of like independent films like Clerks and stuff like that I don't know why it's I can't remember what Anchor it's Bay spoof movie let's get on this guys the, yeah. the Zucker brothers are rolling in their graves mm. good no <laughs> I want him to spring out. <laughs> Boing. We're yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> and no, like I the, did, the snakes pop out. <laughs> I did get a, re- a review of this film from an IMDb user. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, here's here's kind of what the typical audience thinks sure. of this Sure. How many stars do they give it for starters? Well, they, 
it, it was it. in the forums. Joe, oh, I you found, found it? it. Okay. My big fat independent movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay, you know you my go. big fat Greek wedding. They yeah. probably do like a little bit of Pulp Fiction stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a guy. Stuff. It looks like he's holding a banana instead of a gun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this IMDb user says, and this is from the now deleted forums. They deleted the forums like five years ago. I have a thing to bring them back, so I get to see all this stuff. Okay. He says it was. It is really funny. Good. Perfectly filmed. No beep with nudity. And interesting. <laughs> Finally, ghost beep someone, which was my wish to see. But I still hope for more, for more such stuff. People forget what the movie means. Movie means to entertain you. It doesn't mean serious movies are more good movies, and comedy are less good. Judge movies how much they entertained you. In this scale, this one is good than all parts of Paranormal Activities, excluding first. Hold on a second. I wholeheartedly agree with that back half about... Uh, uh, rating a movie based on its entertainment value to you. Okay. So you keep your fucking mouth shut. <laughs> Why? 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 About Jack and Jill. Why? No. No, no, no. You haven't watched it. You don't know its entertainment uh, value I to you. I have to see the film. Yes. Do I just eat dirt yeah. before I know Hold, it's bad? Joe, you watched this movie. <laughs> I don't know which one I would be more disgusted by. This, or, I think I would be more Probably disgusted with Jack this. and Jill. Probably nah. this. Yeah. No, the big budget of Jack and Jill would gross me out more than this. And this has dog rape. But... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's getting bleeped. No, that's in the film. It's accurate. <laughs> God. They did. They sexually assaulted that dog's mouth with peanut butter. Okay. Next. <laughs> Well, that's that's uh, that's it. That's this is the film. All right, fifty likes on this mm -hmm. video. Joe will make his own spoof movie. I will. Yep. How, can you can you go meta? Can you make a spoof of oh, these about spoof movies? Spoof movies. Like maybe there's a big fat guy in a chair and he's watching spoof movies. Yeah. And he says like, I can I can do it better than that. Oh, except <laughs> except he's got a giant um. Uh, like pot of gravy, he's just eating with a ladle, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, he sp yeah. he spills it on the TV, and it electrocutes him, and uh, 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 and then his life turns into a spoof movie. He's oh, that's actually a good hook. Yeah, because it's yeah, you. There you go. No, it's not. And me. then you're walking through your day to day life, and then everywhere you go, it's just a spoof of a movie. No, uh, it's not me. Mm -hmm. It would be a it would be an unnamed other fat guy with gravy. It wouldn't be me. <laughs> that's your name, unnamed yeah. fat guy with gravy. Uh huh. <laughs> in new house. Yeah, yeah, they are. They fuck in new house. <laughs> and they do camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do camera. Listen, listen, Mister Mister Ziegler. I'm being very serious now. No jokes. No roughhousing. No funny business. Like nothing, nothing like that. <laughs> we really appreciate you. You know, we we love your old man humor. We love your <laughs> we love your rickety knees. Always clanking and making audio during the podcast. We love it whenever you yank the, the cord out of your microphone and you have to fiddle with it. We really want you to come back. We miss you. We love you. And we just want to, we want to do more podcasts with our buddy Ryan. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. I couldn't yeah. have said it better myself. I can hear him coming right now, Joe. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Something like that, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like nice and deep like that. 